A suspect sitting in a Butte County jail will be extradited to Sacramento County to face murder charges in what investigators are calling a hate crime. Marin Austin joins us live now with details on who this suspect is. Marin? Well, we found out today, Eric, that the suspect faced previous charges of attempted murder. That was back in 1992 in a different state. He served time for about 10 years, then was on parole. And now we're finding out, as we know and as you just mentioned, that investigators here in Sacramento believe that he murdered someone right here in this parking lot at Home Depot. I'm very shocked because that dream. It was a hate gun. When Hassan Alousi moved to America from Baghdad to be free, this wasn't what he had in mind. <laughs> we came to this country from a war zone to be free. Yet Hassan is not free now. He is dead. On behalf of the Sheriff's Department, we stand strong against this. This is something we will not tolerate. At first, the Sheriff's Department thought this was random when a Sacramento Muslim man was shot to death in the Home Depot parking lot off of Florin Road. It deems that he has a an unliking of what he describes as a Muslim community. In addition to Jeffrey Michael Kaler's dislike for Muslims, investigators say surveillance video from Home Depot shows this may not have been random. Kaler is shown here on video stalking Alousi for several minutes leading up to his death. Alousi's family is outraged. He's a most passion for art. He was an artist who depicted his own country of Iraq as a distraught war zone filled with animals and showed America as the land of the free. Hassan Alousi left Iraq, war torn Iraq, fled to find a safe place to live and provide for his family. And now he will be returning to that war-torn country in a casket. The Council of American Islamic Relations is also outraged, along with various civil rights and community leaders who spoke today. And the assassination of any person is a threat to every single one of us. Now, Alousi is survived by his brother and his sister, who you heard from in that story. As far as we know, they will be returning to Iraq on Sunday. Marin, thank you.